We're going to walk through steps 51 through 60 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design's first uh, project, Learn HTML by Building a Cat Photo App. So for step 51, all we're going to do is we're going to make another field set um, underneath the existing one. Um, and so the field set is just this uh, box that's surrounding a couple of inputs in our form. So field set, and then we're going to fix that indentation by pressing delete, opening and closing tags. There we go. And we just have another box, but we don't have anything in it yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a legend. And this is just going to, um, it's going to explain what's what's going on right here, what, what sort of, um, in, just to help the user understand what input they're supposed to put. So what's your cat's personality? So once we have that, we get this right there. All right. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a checkbox. So it's pretty easy to put in. We're going to go right underneath that legend. We're going to write uh, input and then type equals and then Quote, uh, quotation marks, uh, closing, uh, I guess a greater than sign, um, checkbox, right? So that's just gonna give us the box and then to give it an actual label or um, so that someone knows what they're checking, we're gonna write a space loving. So that, that way, see if we didn't do that space right there, uh, it's a little bit too close. So we just had the space and the spacings all figured out. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add an ID um, attribute inside of this input. Um, so we're just gonna put loving. It's not gonna change what this looks like. And then after that, um, we're gonna remember for accessibility and screen readers, we're going to add um, a label. And so um, before, um, over here, we put the label around the input and this text, but what we can actually do is um, we can just put the label around the text like that and has the same effect. Um, so we're gonna nest, it says nest the text only around loving. Oops, I forgot the, oh, this is really important. So if you are gonna put it just around the text, so you wanna put for and then uh, loving. So it knows, oh, this ID and this for, they're connected, so the label loving is for this input just to, to make everything go together um, that's just so someone with a screen reader when they when the screen reader is telling them about a checkbox they know oh the text associated with it is loving and the way those are linked together is with this four so this four and then we put the id inside so the id of this input which is the checkbox itself and then we also have text so this is how we again associate the text with the actual input method um, and so we're gonna put the name, um, and this is just so when we submit the form, that name is gonna be submitted and it's gonna be associated with loving um, once we associate a value. So personality. Um, and so this is gonna help us when we're figuring out um, our form inputs. Again, not gonna change what it looks like. Um, and so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna make another one of these underneath for lazy. So. Um, not maybe not every cat is loving, so we're gonna just put a lazy um, option, and so all we're gonna change is that ID. So lazy, lazy, and so now this um, input, if you were to check it, it would be for lazy. But the issue is, look, it says loving, so we actually wanted to say lazy. Um, so we're just gonna write lazy, and it's going to be associated. Write this label just like for loving. Um, this label for lazy with the text lazy is associated with this ID, and this input is a checkbox for personality. Okay, um, the next step is we're gonna add one more, and this is for energetic cats. So um, just one more option for people, oops, one more option for people filling out the form. And we're just gonna write um, energetic. And right there, and remember this ID, so this text, it, uh, the screen reader would get confused and it would read energetic and think it's also associated with this lazy. So we have to make sure this for is also switched. For attribute. And there we go. Loving, lazy, and energetic. Those are three options you can choose. And you can do more than one if you um, so please. Um, and so um, we, we want to associate values with um, 
uh, with each of our inputs, um, even though um, it's optional, we want to make sure that um, our form is going to get submitted the way that uh, we intend. So for each checkbox, we're just going to add a value and it's going to be for, um, we're going to just put the ID. So loving, and the next one is, oops, I got to spell value correctly, value, um, value equals, and lazy, value equals, energetic and so now once each person when this is selected and let's say we submit then um, the value that gets associated with this actual checkbox will be um, energetic so we would say oh personality and then is associated with energetic okay next the final one is um, we're gonna learn about this checked attribute so um, we don't need an equal sign in quotation we just write checked it's similar to the required um, required attribute, which um, we used right here. You can just type it in anywhere, um, just make sure it's, so I could even just put uh, checked right there. And wow, look, loving is checked automatically. So um, they just ask us for the first button and first checkbox to um, make them uh, just checked automatically. And so I could put that there, or usually I just like to put them at the end like this. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and there you go.